Hello and welcome to the Dirt 358 Modified here on Bristol Dirt. Been a minute since I did some uh, Dirt Oval just because the last one I did was just atrocious. It was one of those late night races. Uh, what was it? I think it was like USA maybe or no it was Lanier I think. In um, green flag, green flag. I don't even remember what car. It was the Dirt Street Stocks I think. I'm a little out of sorts. Let me see if I can focus here for a moment and get a good time because I think that might be important for the uh, for this race. But uh, I did an absolutely atrocious <laughs> dirt street stock race, and uh, that kind of turned me off a dirt road for a minute. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this one won't be so bad. We got. 358, wow, this was really slow. Why was I so slow? 17.9, 17.7. That felt really slow, I don't know what that was. But, um, yeah, uh, it is another late night race, but we got some more people signed up than we're in that other one. And, uh, got more room on this track, and it's pretty simple. You know, you're just uh, putting the throttle down and trying to be as smooth as possible, which I wasn't very smooth in qualifying. I, I think it's because it's got that wear in the middle of the track right there. I think I should have been trying a little harder to get below that. I don't know. I imagine all the lap times are probably pretty close, right? But if we were to look at them right now, they'd probably be all really similar lap times. I don't know. We got a couple of like, really fast people. 17 fours and I guess we weren't so bad. 17 seven. We're ahead of a handful of people. I think just about everybody's gone by now. Done their lap. They might be going, uh, heading to the race pretty soon. Let's take a look-see. Oh, we just got one person we're waiting on. And, uh, they, they had disconnected, so that's why we're waiting on them. But they're back now. And, uh, I assume they're doing laps. Maybe not. Just waiting on the one person. And it seems like their uh, connection has figured itself out. Whatever uh, had happened before, making them lose connection doesn't seem to be a problem anymore, which is good, because people with bad connections means blinking. We don't need that. It's, we need as little of that as possible. Although we do have a lot of people from Australia in the race, which uh, obviously they're going to be right around... The other side of the world, so they, they got some 200, 300 pings, but usually uh, that's not too bad. As long as it doesn't get much worse than that, usually it's pretty tolerable. But uh, single split, I think? I want to say single split. But no caution, so we won't be running the whole thing under caution, at least. Um, they are putting their laps in, okay. So, two, they got lap one done. And we're just waiting on them to do lap two. They did not beat our time on lap one, but that was a pretty good lap, so they easily could lap two. Our uh, second lap was two tenths faster, so they could uh, send us to the inside lane heading into this race. Which, uh, I don't know if it matters too much. I guess you want the inside lane. Probably. I'm obviously very inexperienced with dirt ovals, so just trying to do my best out here. I think it's pretty straightforward here. It's uh, Bristol dirt with how large it is for these low-powered vehicles, but maybe there's some nuance that I'll be learning. Uh-oh, I got people with their pings <laughs> rising a little bit. That's the only person I think I'm concerned about in terms of ping. These guys should be okay in the 200s, but when that 341 starts getting red too, then uh, they might be blinking around. But uh, we're all done here. Still gotta wait 10 seconds, I guess, though, because it's not skipping ahead for us. Uh, either way, we're about to get ready to go. Um, That's the end yeah. of the session. P4. P4? We're gonna be on the outside. Try not to uh, run into anyone. We'll get a good view of the leader, I think. Hopefully, as we get started. Got that number four patriotic scheme over there, I guess. Radio check. That is. 
I got you. I'm doing a radio check. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. All right. Hey everybody, there's the bounty on Harvard DeLuca's head. So if he wins this race, he's not picking it in. He's going to so have to win this race. Or at least make sure he doesn't come in. Or beat him. Maybe it's just me, but I didn't understand a word that guy just said. But uh, apparently these guys know each other. Regardless, just going to do our best to give room and hopefully be given room. Fun race. Right. One gear in this car, which I always found pretty interesting. Uh, well, I guess technically you got neutral, but <laughs> once you get into first, you're not shifting anymore. And, uh, these things are always kind of weird when you're moving slowly. I think Nick, uh, Neven, I think he said once that it's because of the way that they do the physics for the dirt. It gets kind of weird when you're moving slowly. I think he said that once. I found that really interesting. It's just kind of like a quirk of how the physics work. <laughs> but it's like... You're kind of like fighting it to go in a straight line when you're moving slow. It's very interesting. I guess you kind of have to imagine like you're going over the different like ruts and bumps in the in the dirt surface. It's kind of what you're supposed to be experiencing, maybe. I don't know. But uh, that was one of the things I was most surprised at the first time I got in one of these. I was like, why on earth is it so crazy when you're moving slowly? As soon as you start moving forward, it starts making a little more sense, but. <laughs> kind of funny how weird it moves around. Yeah, it's kind of close to our inside. Um, Bristol always does that weird thing where it'll say, about to go green way too early. Although it doesn't seem to be doing it this time. Maybe that's a paved oval work. I'm not Get sure. Ready. Going green. I think we're about to go green for reals. Ooh, I got... It moved me to the right at just the wrong time. This guy's already getting in the wall. Not taking him. Oh my god. That guy just... Oh my god. Alert his family. I think he just completely took out the inside wall. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what was that? That looked like a wheel failure or something. Like it went hard left. I don't know what that was. Alright, well. I don't have to worry about that guy anymore. <laughs> it's the guy that the other guy said he wanted to put a bounty on. Apparently someone sniped him from the stands. I guess that's what happened. Well, now, we do the uh, flat foot thing and pretend I'm good at dirt racing when in reality I'm not really <laughs> doing all that much. Just kind of driving, trying to be smooth. I can be a little more consistent than I was in that qualifying session because the qualifying session I did, that was not so great. I think I got a little too sideways, maybe. Really, just uh, the key to getting fast is just not letting the car bog down. Which I'm not doing a great job of because it just gets uh, too sideways. So maybe I can even lift off a little bit on the entry. Mm. No. We got all this, like, slick on the entry right there, so maybe if I'm more delicate <laughs> with the throttle. I don't know, that didn't work at all. I just got sideways right then. So when you go through that slick, it starts kicking the rear end out, and that's what's bogging down. Car. I'm watching whatever this guy's doing. Wait. Oh. I was like... There was another car there, wasn't there? I blinked out for a second. Yeah, uh, that lap car kept it down there. Just fine, I think. So, didn't have to worry about that. Just keep getting that bog down. There's uh, two guys up there are just uh, much better at keeping it smooth, it looks like. There we go, that's what I'm trying to do. That was much better right there. 
and that was not as good. Man, that too is like disappearing for an extended period of time sometimes. Is he gonna run into him? Because the track's kind of slicked off right now, I'm gonna actually move that to uh, session last lap so I can better see if uh, how smooth I'm being in the corners. Kind of gives me a visual indicator of what part of the turn I need to work on in terms of smoothness. Got that lap car coming up again. What's going on? Kind of all over the track. Does he take what's happening? <laughs> Scared. Well he's diving low. Okay. It's not like I wanted to be low or anything. Hey, hang on a second, that high lane worked. What happens if I do this again? Uh oh, we just found something. This high line came in. Sure seems like it anyway. That's why that session last lap's very useful. Easier to make discoveries like that. Alright, that was rude. Just cut me off. Alright, don't leave a lane. Seems like he's not quite stable. He's going through that slick a lot, and it's kind of messing with him. Just done. The car outside. Going past him there a little bit. Oh, he's just going to turn into us. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. We didn't really hurt us that much, but I don't appreciate the 2x. Okay, you're in second two. This is four car again. I appreciate not seeing him as often. And he runs into the leader. Inside. Get me away. Whatever that is. And he's running into the third place guy. So of the first the top three cars, he ran into everyone but me. I'm starting to see why that one guy was putting a hit out on him. Oh my god. So he's continuing to run through the slick. I like this high line. Go figure, that's me at every track. <laughs> Just realize. But, uh, yeah, you see it's not quite as slick up here. I'm getting my rear ends in the. These guys are really uh, insistent on cutting off my run on the high line. They're lucky that I'm. Kind. Don't just flat foot it. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, we're taking the really low line, I guess. Ah, well, that's not good for business. He's in crackers. <laughs> well, we were right there, and then we weren't right there because we had to dodge guy flipping over. Still think that high line is going to be the fastest one, but he's kind of discovered it too now. It looks like so he's up there. I saw me catching him from the high line. I think we had a shot at it if that guy didn't wreck like that. So now we just lost every bit of momentum. I mean, we still got lap cars, though. Including this four that already has hit multiple leaders. <sighs> Is breaking on a straightaway? Is he on something? Like, clearly he can't be that bad because he's the number four. I don't know what's going on. Okay. 
you know, we're not going to be able to catch him unless we do something, discover another thing. So let's try. Wasn't too bad. Let's try a slider line, maybe. Oh god, they're flipping over again. Right, all over the track. They're trying to make this like the dirt street stock race that was so miserable that I that I was in, but uh Okay. Go low, go low, That's go ugly. low. <sighs> Don't wanna win that way. If everybody doesn't report Harvard DeLuca, I am. I absolutely will. I don't want to win that way. Two left to go. Two to go. Okay, you are the leader. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, you nearly spun me out getting past me anyway. I don't know what you're on about. I need one more good lap. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my nose clean. Yeah, but so am I, and then Harvard decides he's trying to fucking spin in front of me here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that was. But... Anyway, I guess we're gonna win. <laughs> Doesn't feel good though. Well done, mate. That was absolutely perfect. Great win. You won. Why did the others bother to show up? Uh, what did the nine say? Was he accusing me of something? I missed it. It's like I don't know what you're going on about. I'm just saying, the guy that intentionally wrecked the guy in front of us messed up. What'd he say? I missed it. Do, do, do. Sorry, I'm just... Tear the volume. Oh, you nearly spun me out getting past me anyway, dude. I don't know what you're on about. You knew he spun me out? I was agreeing with the guy. I don't know. That, guy, that confused me. Anyway, we won the race, I guess, but it doesn't really feel that good because... The leader got taken out by whatever's going on. So, uh, we're going to have to protest the dude. So that's kind of like a bittersweet thing. Or doing whatever that was. I don't know. This problem is. Like, how did he even qualify up there if he can't even make it through one corner? I'm just, I'm really confused. Uh, we got some flipping over going on. Another view of that. They got lots of distance. Oh, you know what I think happened? Is he thinks that I was the one that... I was the number four... And he was thinking that, like, I was saying, like, oh, I don't want to win that way. Like, I'm the number four. I don't want to wreck people. He was thinking I would. I don't know. I'm confused by his response. I mean, I know I didn't do anything, though. So. Here's the spin in front of him. He's talking about. That's what took him out. Oof. And then bigger mess, bulging back on track. Right, blinking out, I suppose, was what that was. Our guy's getting in the wall and doing flips. This is the one that got me messed up. See, I... I, I didn't want to just aim for him and assume that he was going to move down the track, but that would have ended up being the right thing to do, I think, because I see him flipping over there, and I'm like, okay, is he up there? And then he kind of, like, slowly moves down, and it makes me have to enter really low. So, losing all that time there is what kind of prevented us from being able to reach him. Um, normally, I think he would have won the race had the, that nonsense <laughs> not happened. Uh, so 11 flipping over again. I already did once. Yep, there they are. Whoa! They have become the catch fence. And then, whatever this was. He just, he took, he takes them out on purpose. I don't know what. 
They're clearly not friends. There, mu there must have been beef from a previous race or something. There's some context I'm missing, but that's how we won, unfortunately. But, uh, well, we were going to get a top two anyway. Then again, that had something to do with that number four as well. So, because, <laughs> like, I don't know how well we would have been competing with the... Uh, with the um, number, like, nine or anything, who also got taken out, so. Um, I feel like I did all right. We just got the 2X um, from the... What was that? What was the 2X from? I don't remember. It was from something early, I think, wasn't it? He just ran into someone, or, like, it wasn't even that much of contact, but it registered as a 2X anyway. I don't even remember what it was. I don't think it showed up in the incidents, but uh, regardless, I'll go ahead and do the outro right now, and I'll say, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Poor kid, this one got ruined by someone being a loser, but uh, hopefully after a protest, we won't have to see him again, but oh well, a win, I guess. <laughs> see you next time. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the one. This is... This is this what the nine was about? I mean, he turned down on me. Like he straight up turned down on me. He's got two lanes. He turns down on me. So is that's what he was talking about? He's just wrong. <laughs> I don't know dirt racing that much, but I do know you can't just take up the entire track. So yeah, he just turns in early. Right? I don't know. Maybe I could have turned in earlier. You're side by side, you can't just turn down on something like that. Oh well. That must have been what he was upset about. <laughs> I'd forgotten about it because I didn't even think it was a big deal. Uh, oh well. I will see you next time. <laughs>